Well, this story, he's not on his own. He's not a lone wolf. He's working with two other lone wolves. And so the three of them have got to work out a way of getting along together, even though they're all really versions of the same character. They're all lone wolves. They're all their own boss. And they've got to figure out how to cooperate in order to solve the problem. Yes, what is for you the essence of the character and how has Tom managed to capture that? For me, the essence is uh, Risha will do the right thing, whatever the cost. And Tom is right for it because Tom will do the role properly, whatever the cost. And he does his own stunts. He, he, a lot of the time he's banged up and hurt, but he's, he will play hurt and he, he'll do the job, whatever it takes. I know when he was originally cast, fans questioned the fact that he didn't look like the Jack Reacher that you'd originally imagined. I mean, how did you feel about that, and, and what would you say to fans who maybe still have that reservation? Well, I would say nobody looks like Jack Reacher. I mean, there are no actors in the world that are uh, that big and that ugly. Uh, so we got to find an actor who has actual acting talent that can bring out the inside, which is what Cruz does so well. Can you talk about your experiences on set again for this one, another wonderful cameo? Yeah, I got a cameo in this one too, and I think I did pretty good. I'm just waiting for the Oscar nomination. Fans are already waiting to see if we're going to get more Jack Reacher adventures on the big screen. Do you think that's a likelihood? Or I hope there are plenty more. And uh, the thing about the entertainment business is you can never know what's going to happen next. That's what makes it so much fun. There could be another 20 movies. There could be none. We just do not know. So you talked about Tom. Uh, around him, there's some wonderful, strong women in this film. Can you talk a little bit about Kobe and Danica and, and uh, what you thought of their performances? Yeah, from a storyteller's point of view, technically speaking, it was Kobe that the whole movie depended on. If she was good, the movie would be good. And she was actually better than good. She knocked it right out of the park. And then the third component, uh, Danica, was just unbelievable. Um, she was 16 years old when it was being shot. And she has got an amazing future ahead of her. She was sensational. Anybody who sees this movie is going to come away thinking that she is a huge star.